Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. It's the first game of the Premier League season and Saints are taking on the champions, Manchester City. City have some of the highest paid players in the world and they're going into this match as the heavy favourites. But if we look back, it's not always been that way. Rod Wallace. And here's his brother Danny. Lovely finish. A Wallace 1-2 and City go behind. Oakley with the long throw. That was Vikings head. Good strike! Dan Petrescu for Southampton! It gives Manchester City another mountain to climb at Main Road. Petrescu struck it beautifully and controlled the volley impressively. Health drives it away. And Kevin Phillips now can maybe run in on goal. He's bearing down on David James. One on one. Kevin Phillips is his second goal this afternoon. Fabulous finish. Get in the back of the net. That is absolutely sensational from Kevin. Remember, you can watch the full flashback video exclusively on Saints Player. Now, it's been a long and hard summer of preparation for Nigel Atkins men. It's the first game of the Premier League season and he said we're ready. Pre-season, the object is to get through pre-season. This is my 31st one now and uh, I said to the players at the start, the object is to arrive the day before the Manchester City game with everyone fit and available for selection. There's, when you look at it, Jack Cork is the only player who injured his ankle against Bristol City, so he, he's going to be out for a few more weeks. And we'd lost him for most of the pre-season anyway because he was with the, the uh, GB team at the Olympics. Stephen Davis fantastically played 90 minutes the other night. It's his first game. Full 90 minutes since March. So we're really pleased about that. It's a new signing that we brought in. Uh, and Tadanari Lee played his 20 minutes for the development team the other day after a real um, bad um, foot injury that he had that required an operation. So for him to go and score a very brave game, a goal, if you get to see it on Saints player, He's, a, he's like a little samurai warrior and the way he's just popped in between a goalkeeper and the centre off as they've gone to clatter him and, and nod the ball in was really great so we're really pleased about that so when we look at it the players are fit, the players are strong, they're focused. As I said we worked on a, a new formation all the way through uh, pre-season to complement the ones that we've had before. The principles of passing the football aren't going to change, you can talk about formations as long as you want, it's what you do when you've got the ball and what you do when you haven't got the ball is the important thing. Southampton to Manchester is one of the longest away trips the Premier League has to offer. I was down at St Mary's at half seven this morning to catch up with some of the away fans. Fantastic, fantastic. I think we've had some, some, some great years the last two or three years in our promotions and uh, perhaps, perhaps we're going to have to be a bit more realistic about our um, objectives for the next season but uh, really looking forward to it. To get back to what they were really. <laughs> You know, even if it's just surviving on the yeah. last day, that'll be good. Just to stay, just to stay in. surviving on the yeah. last day, that'll be good. Just to stay, just to stay in the league. Yeah. Years been waiting, yeah, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's long time, yeah, it's long time coming. I'm oh, nearly a decade, but yeah, I mean, we've worked hard, played hard, and hopefully we'll play hard today. But double promotion, I thought we'd done well. I thought we'd done well. That's all from today's match day show, but remember you can keep up with live text updates on the official Saints Twitter page as well as post-match reaction on Saints Player.